The first perspective is called the biological perspective. And they believe that simple biology is what causes our behavior. They believe that our behaviors and our mental processes are determined by the physiology, the physical functionings of our bodies on the inside. Some examples, our genetics, which would be our heredity, the things that we get from our parents. We're born with these things based on our DNA. Our brain structure, the way that our brain is structured. Maybe we have some brain structures that are larger or smaller than the average brain, and that gives us some of the behaviors and mental processes that we have. Maybe our brain chemistry, the neurotransmitters that are being fired in the brain and throughout the body. Our hormones, those are chemicals that are flowing throughout our bloodstream. And with hormones, our gender is also attached to our hormones. We have different hormones being released based on whether we're male or female, and so that can have some biological impact on why we do the things we do. Some others that we're not born with necessarily, but still definitely affect our biology would be drugs, whether they're substances or prescription medications or different um, over-the-counter medications, things like that. Food, the foods that we eat definitely impact our behavior. And the amount of sleep that we get affects our behavior and our emotions and our mental processes. So those are just some examples of some of the things the biological perspective believes causes all behavior. So let's look at our little boy again. How would the biological perspective explain the behavior of this little boy walking around trying to use the force on random objects throughout the house. What do you think? Stop the video for a second and write something down. What do you have on your paper? I came up with two. Possibly his heredity, which is who his parents are. Maybe they have the force um, in them and it, they pass the ability down to him. or. Maybe his midichlorian count is very high, which those of you Star Wars um, gurus, like our family is, we all know that it's the midichlorians that give us the force. So uh, maybe his midichlorian count is high enough to give him the ability to move objects just by using the force. 